Are you having trouble updating your title, your bullets, or other attributes on Amazon? You put it into the back end of Seller Central and it simply won't update and reflect on the front end. This is the video for you. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Selling on Amazon is difficult. It's everything but passive income. I share videos like this one to help Amazon sellers on their journey. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. When Amazon turns your world upside down, tune into My Amazon Guy to land safely and grow your Amazon business. All right, so this is a new item that I am in the process of launching, um, taking advantage of, of social distancing and everybody teaching uh, remotely. So because virtual teaching. So this particular listing looks like absolute garbage right now. Despite my um, desire to not make it look terrible, and a lot of you uh, Amazon sellers go through something very similar on this. And basically, the way I created this listing is instead of using a template upload, I chose to do it manually. And when I did the edit, uh, I did it through the parentage variation tree. And that was a giant mistake. Don't add new products to a current parentage on the back end of Seller Central or you will run into this problem. So. On the front end, we've got this reflecting. On the back end, I have something entirely different. Here's the back end, and you can see here is a long, well-optimized title. In addition to that, I also have my bullet points optimized. And again, here's what we see in the front end with ridiculous zeros. And basically, the way this happened, right? So I'm going back into the back end of Solar Central, I'm typing the word because in to trigger my parent skew. The way I made this was instead of using a template upload, I went to the variations tab and I added another color in here and that's how I made it. And so the problem is, is that the color I added for because uh, virtual teaching right here, it's sticking the title. It will not let it change. Now I have gone back and forth with Seller Central repeatedly to try and get this to be fixed. And I'm going to show you one of the most frustrating parts about this process. So I'm going to go into Seller Central. I'm going to click on help in the top right. And then we're going to go through a ticketing process, get support, selling on Amazon. Now they created this new generic place to fill stuff in. I always avoid it. Browse your issue, go to products listing or inventory and fix product page. Now, when I type this ASIN in and I say, Hey, I need to fix my detail page right? This tool used to be amazing, right? Like you could usually come in here, update your title and, and it would just go through almost same day, like every time. And now watch what happens, right? Like I hit this and it says, this information is coming from your seller account to update it. Go to your inventory by navigating to the edit product page. Well, like I showed you on the back end here, clearly it's already been updated. I'll see if I can find it again hit edit on my, my virtual teaching SKU here, and it's already been updated and it's simply just not reflecting. This is a problem with Amazon's catalog, connecting the parent SKU creation for the variation and it's simply uh, wedged it into the catalog and will not update it. So that's the problem. And to make the problem worse on the ticketing process, the fix a product page feature simply is rejecting any communication. So back to my original point, don't make listings manually through the variation tree and parentage. You can make a listing manually outside of that just fine. You won't have this problem. But if you make the listing by going to the variations tab, you will run into this problem 100% of the time. It's stupid, but you will. So you've been warned on that front. Now, most of you who are catching this video or typically have run into the same problem. So, okay, you're like, okay, well, uh, warning is too late for me. What do I do? Well, so in the ticketing on the fix a product page, instead of going down that route, I would go to inventory file upload issue. Now it's been, a, if you know how to run your templates, I recommend you do a template upload prior to filing this ticket. Most of you are not comfortable in templates and will not be going down that path. I tried to update this with a partial update. Didn't solve the problem as well. So I've already gone down that path. So in here, um, and I always recommend on your contact reason, you put your ASIN and like your SKU so you can like keep track of your stuff. So virtual teaching title, right? And in the, in, in the description, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, 
hi, my title won't update. I've tried to put the updated title into the back end of Seller Central. My seller contribution on this ASIN is stuck. Please update title to, and then put in whatever title you want. So we're gonna put in this one, right? Okay. And I own the brand registry. I am the sole seller and owner. And then here's the part that most people don't understand that is critical. And that is you need to put in a manufacturer link. So here you can see, I have the same virtual teaching item listed on my website at momster.com. And this allows me to show that I am the manufacturer proof, which can be very valuable. Now you'll notice here, I'm also listing the UPC. So if I'm public with my UPC on the manufacturer's page, this proof is definitive. It will make them agree to the change. Now, even despite this, we filed this ticket a few hours ago, I still don't have my title reflecting correctly. Uh, but in this ticket, so it, might, so it might even take a day or two of going back and forth on this. Um, so I'm the seller and owner, manufacturer's proof, link, um, please update the title to. I'm also gonna file on this ticket that I wanna update the bullets, bullets to, and I'm gonna paste those over as well. Uh, so let's go over to the description section, go back to the tickets. So here we go. I'm going to go back and forth a few times here. And some of you might be wondering, are emojis acceptable? They are in most categories, anything medical or serious. I wouldn't recommend them, but I have a, I, I'm a gift category. So do them all day long. Um, so I put in there, you know, I own the brand registry and the sole owner, here's the manufacturer's proof, yada, yada, and make sure the ASIN is in the tickets, which I might've actually forgotten to do. <laughs> so let's put that in right here. Okay. Notice also that I'm copying and pasting the description of this ticket before I hit the submit button in case when I submit the tick button ticket and submit that submission button, it disappears, which can happen. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and submit this ticket. And it's my hope that it goes through. Now, if this still doesn't work, the last resort would be to do a full update on a template. So here is a template file. I'm going to show you where to download this. So in Solar Central, you put your cursor over inventory and go to add products via upload. In here, you can see past submissions. You're going to download an inventory file. And by the way, if you went in here and you saw one of your previous downloads showing up in Chinese. Do not be alarmed. I was quite alarmed when I first saw Chinese showing up here, but apparently they added uh, in the template dropdown Chinese and it started defaulting some past uploads and translating them to Chinese. Super weird, I know. I initially thought, oh, the Chinese are hacking my account. While that is entirely possible, we've seen a lot of that of late. It's probably not happening um, in this specific area. Like um, I've, I've investigated this issue very thoroughly on multiple accounts. Not one of them were hacked. It just, they just added the Chinese template. They're servicing a lot of Chinese right now. A lot of Chinese sellers are coming out of the woodwork. Uh, that's, that's why this exists. All right. Anyway, so you download one of these templates right here and you'll see I've downloaded wine glass in the past. Once you hit the generate template, you can then pull up the Excel sheet, which I've got here. So in here, the most important thing that you do in the update delete column is use a full update. Now, a word of caution, any attribute that you fill in, in the sheet or don't fill in rather will wipe when you use the update. So normally, normally I would be doing partial update like this because I just want to update the dang title, but I've already attempted a partial update and it did not work. So it's really important that you, you do a full update. Now, mind you, when you do a full update and you don't fill in all of the attributes, it will wipe anything you don't fill in. So it's important that you back up your data first. So one of the things that I do is I file a ticket to get access to the category listing report. So in here, I simply wrote a one sentence, please give me access to the full category export report. And they do so. And I understand you wish to gain access to the category listing report. I've enabled it for seven days. I wish they just make this permanent and on everybody's account. 
I don't know why they don't. So every, every so often I'll back up my catalog. So to, to get that, you follow the instructions here under inventory, click on inventory reports, drop down menu, select category listings report, choose the product category and for the export and request report. So this is the way to export everything that's currently in the system. And by the way, it does get bullet points, which you cannot do in any other method. So if we head over to the inventory report section, put your cursor on inventory and go over to in inventory reports here. And in this drop down, what you don't see on your screen, unless you've enabled this, is the category listings report. So then I'm gonna select which category I want. I'm just gonna select all, select report format Excel and listings created after, I don't, I don't even know if that matters. I can't remember off the top of my head. And I'm just gonna go all. Right, so I'm going to request the report and then that does take a few minutes to generate and it will simply show up here and you can download it and it's going to have a lot of good things in there. So I keep a Google Drive of backed up catalogs and especially if you're doing any catalog uploads, it behooves you to do this backup prior. So if you're having lots of catalog problems, do an export like this, back everything up, then start mucking like what I'm doing with my Excel and I'm going to start wiping data to get a freaking title updated, right? Super frustrating. And, and then once I have the title updated, I can go back through and figure out what else got wiped and re-upload it accordingly. Um, so things that I'm going to be frustrated that I'm going to wipe would be like size attributes and shipping attributes. And notice that, you know, there's, you know, 200 attributes in here that could be filled out, which over time I often do fill them out, but not necessarily on the creation of the product itself. So the search term field, the title, the description, all of these things will get wiped if you don't back them up first that's why we're recommending that you do that all category listings report so it can take up to 20 minutes to generate i hit refresh you can see it's already ready download and that will show you a really cool copy of all those all those goods there is an additional way to back up images it's not the category listing report i do have a special video on that all right so the exercise that I just ran you through, guys, is really important, and it's also highly misunderstood, and it's not really widely discussed, right? We have access to 160 accounts at My Amazon Guide. We're a full-service agency, and there is not an agency in this country that can touch me on catalog management, like nobody, right? There's probably 200 PPC agencies out there that could give me a run for my money. Everybody does PPC. Nobody likes to get dirty and do the dirty work on catalog, we do it at my Amazon guys. So if you've had frustrating relationships with the past agencies that you've tried to hire to run your catalog and they couldn't get something done, they couldn't get your listing reinstated, they couldn't change your brand name, they couldn't rebuild the parentages that you're having issues with, hire us. We can get it done. We do it every single day. And this video demonstrates that we have the depth of knowledge all the way up to me at the founder level and all the way down to my catalog team and the Amazon specialists that work for me, which by the way, go to my team page, you can see who works for me. I'm public with this stuff because I trust my team members and, and we assign uh, one of our members of our team to your account to manage it. So um, hopefully that's uh, something of interest to you. If it is, simply go to myamazonguy.com, contact us, um, you can tell us if you want to grow your sales, fill this out and let us know like what, um, what you're interested in growing your sales with. You can go to our full services page and look at any of our particular services. We go in depth and explain like how we manage things. Um, we build out a plus content like we did for, for chirp, um, really large brand on Amazon. These guys were just on shark tank the other month. Um, we'll build out your brand store. We'll optimize your listings and the list goes on brand changes parentage listing reinstatements listing errors product review and seller feedback management product research managing your case log social posts very long list of things that we do as part of our full service so thanks for watching guys my name is stephen pope and i'm the founder of my amazon guy if you leave a comment on this video i read every single one of them ask me any question about managing your catalog i will answer it we recently engaged my amazon guy to help us with our amazon store and immediately they went to work and many people on their staff had great expertise in certain areas that certainly helped us out. We highly recommend My Amazon Guy. Go to myamazonguy.com and check out our full service management. We're a great agency to hire uh, for your first agency or, or maybe you've got um, an agency that's in place that you've outgrown. Check us out as well. We're a 30 person agency based out of the Atlanta, Georgia area. We share all of our trade secrets openly so you can you know, by the time you're done watching or listening to this podcast, there is some level of trust that you might have before you even get on a call with us. And that's because we basically just revealed our full strategy for you on how to grow sales on Amazon, right? Uh, 
So when you when you start executing with us, we're going to be executing about the things we just talked about, and and it's not necessarily a secret sauce. It just takes effort, just takes grinding. So my name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon Guy. Every single person who goes to myamazonguy.com and contacts us and fills out some information, I read every single one of those personally, and I will respond to them. Um, to help give you opportunities or options to help grow your sales on Amazon or solve a problem. So feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're not quite ready to hire us. Keep keep watching, keep listening. We'll keep adding value wherever we can. We're always on the lookout to tell um, stories about you know other Amazon sellers. So if you got a journey you want to talk to us about, we'd be happy to do that. Just send us an email to podcasts at myamazonguy.com.